It is June and that means graduations and at graduation time we often bring you stories of exceptional young people. But tonight we have one young man who almost defies description. You may have heard the Kenyan proverb, it takes a village. Well, you'll understand it a lot better after you see this. Our new reporter, Bonnie Boswell, is here now with details. Bonnie, welcome. Thank you for very much for being here. I'm really delighted to be with both of you. Tracy, the young man in question, Bethwell Bugwa, truly knows the value of a good education. After all, he had to travel thousands of miles just to get to this day. Meet Bethwell Bugwa. At first glance, he seems like any other teenager. When he is not studying, he likes to hang out with friends and he enjoys playing music. Dreadlocks curl in tribute to hero Bob Marley. Bethwell, Murad, Bukwa. Bethwell just graduated from high school, but he almost didn't make it. He was born in Kenya and was extremely bright, finishing sixth grade when he was just seven years old. But there was no school for gifted children in Kenya then, and administrators wanted him to stay behind with his own age group. Rather than do that, his father, a single parent, took Bethwell out of regular school. Bethwell instead went every day to the University of Nairobi Medical Library to study on his own. For six years I never went to school and in that period of time is, is the time that I spent going to libraries and also giving lectures. People called him names like genius and whiz kid. By age 11 he was giving lectures on science. He became famous, but what he really wanted was to go to a school for gifted children. It was somewhat bothersome just because, I mean people would call me all these names, but you know, there was nothing being done to help me. One day, Bethwell met an American professor, Lenore Blum, from Berkeley, who agreed to sponsor him. He applied to schools all over the world. Finally, he heard from the founders of a Merman School in Los Angeles, Dr. and Mrs. Norman Merman. Dear Bethwell, Dr. Merman and I found your letter most interesting and would be pleased if we could make it possible for you to attend our school in the coming year. So, at 12 years old, Bethwell said goodbye to his father and left for America. The only thing that came to my mind was, you know, I was leaving Kenya. Now that he was here, Bethwell needed a place to stay. With the Merman's help, he found several families like the Wilsons and the Mitchells. He was a doll in his own little way, and right away we fell in love with Bethwell. Gloria, you took Bethwell into your family. You had children, and you welcomed in. What was that experience like for you? I remember one night we had turkey for dinner, and he wouldn't eat. He said, this was my pet in Kenya. I can't eat this. After Merman, Bethwell attended the prestigious Harvard Westlake School. There he became the MVP of his junior varsity football team, and he discovered art, a bridge between his past and present. A Kenyan proverb says it takes a village to raise a child. Bethwell's village is made up of his father, who left Kenya for the first time to come for his son's graduation, and some special Angelinos who made a little boy's big dream come true. This fall, Bethwell is heading off to college to study genetics and play football. Oh, what a great, great Tracy. Amazing.